Hi everyone, it's Ziggy here from Look 10 Years Younger and I've got a review for you on the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Is it worth the massive price that it costs? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. Okay, so this baby, fairly new on the market, it's only been on the Australian market for the last uh, two months or so. Uh, it was in the UK earlier this year and it was due to go into the US market um, later this year as well. Uh, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Looks more like a periscope than a hairdryer, doesn't it? Now, in terms of Australian dollars, it is $699. You did hear me right. It is $699. It needs to be gold-plated for that, methinks. Anyway, um, let's have a look at some of the pros and the cons. Um, this is really well put together. It feels really beautifully balanced in the hand and that's because the motor is actually in the handle and not traditionally where they are for hair dryers where the motor is up here and you hold the handle. It's a beautiful digital motor that just sits in here and as a result of that it actually feels, I have to say, really well balanced in your hand and it makes it an awful lot easier to hold. Um, it feels really good quality as well. It doesn't feel tinny or plasticky, and I should hope so for um, that amount of money. Um, because it feels so well balanced in your hands, I've had the chance now to use it about three times, and it makes it much easier to use because it's not this big heavy thing. Now, um, I don't know if you can see, but I've got quite long hair, so for me, when I'm doing a brush out, you know, I have to be holding my arms way out here somewhere if I'm doing a brush blow out. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, and with my old hair dryer that, you know, was the normal standard one with the motor up the top and holding it, it got really heavy when you're out here somewhere with it. With this one, I have to say that I don't feel that weight in my arms so much. It does feel a little bit lighter probably just because it's much more well balanced and easier to use. Um, now there are three heat settings on this and I'm not sure that you're going to be able to see this here. The heat settings are, make sure I get you on the right side, are on this side here and there are three little LED lights that um, go up here to tell you the three different heat settings that you can have. And with the blow settings, same thing here, you press this little button and there are three LED lights on that side to show you how strong uh, you've got the setting. The on off button is this one here and this is cool shot when you're at the end of your style and you just want to set that wave or the straightness or whatever it is that you've done with your hair. In terms of noise, I'll switch it on for you now. That's on medium, that's on high, medium, low. The air comes in through here and also a little bit of air comes in, sorry, through here as well, but the majority of the air comes in here and this section comes out, that's the filter that you can clean. So air comes out here. Now, it comes with three attachments. It comes with the diffuser. It comes with the um, drying nozzle, this one here. You can see how wide that is. And it comes with the styling nozzle, which is a little bit thinner um, than the drying nozzle. The most amazing thing about these attachments is, check this out, they're magnetized and so they're really easy to move around and really easy to put on and take off just makes it so much easier I know for me as a bit of a novice hair dryer when I'm trying to do this I really would like the opportunity to move this as I'm you know moving around my hand well I can now 
because it's just so easy to do and they're magnetized so it just makes it um, so much easier as well um, now in terms of the cost though 700 smackers um, is it worth $700 that's the real question you have to ask yourself for me as a novice hair dryer again you know I, I haven't been drying my hair for 10 years I, I haven't used a hair dryer in the longest time so um, for me my target my goal if you like for the last half of this total makeover year for me is to learn how to um, style these well, mop and so for me it most definitely has been worth it because it just makes drying my hair so much easier it makes learning how to style my hair so much easier as well so for me it's worth it for you $699 700 smackers is an awful lot of dosh you would need to work out whether um, that's worth it for you or not but I have to say after using it only three or four times I love my baby okay so that's me giving you another review from look 10 years younger I hope you're all having a sensational day don't forget to subscribe for me click on the little subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video I look forward to seeing you again in my next video so until then take care bye